Tracy Hess, IFBB Pro. We're here at the Universal Pro Fitness Center here in Horsham, PA. Today I have a great combo tip for those who do not have a lot of time in the gym and everybody always wants to work their legs but they said I don't feel like doing one exercise at a time. So I have three combo exercises that will make it beneficial and official for you to get the results that you need. Leg press machine, we're going to go to the leg curl machine for the hamstrings and then the abductor machine. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, as you see, I'm on the machine. I'm going to push this up. Let's go nice and wide because I'll get a little bit of the inner thighs in there as well. I'm going to turn my toes out like five minutes on the clock. I'm going to let my knees come all the way down to my chest. I'm get a nice good stretch and I'm going to push back up through my heels. See that? Good control. I'm not going to let the weight just fall down. And this machine by itself weighs a lot already without me even adding weight onto this. This is amazing. Good stretch. Getting those hamstrings, those glute tie-ins. Good stretch, I'll give you two more of these. I never lock that knee out at the top. I see this all the time at gyms where they extend the knees. Do not do that. Keep that knee always soft. And here's your last one. Here we go. I'm gonna lock this baby. And remember, after each exercise, don't just jump out of the machine. Always grab one of the machines. Always have handles. Stand up straight and then turn and walk your way out of the machine. This one's kind of big though. Our second combination, of course, is your leg curl machine. This is very beneficial. I know you ladies, of course you men. Uh, when you turn to this side, you know, you want that nice hamstring development, like you would have your biceps, a peak in your biceps. It's just a beautiful, complete look when you have that tied into your glutes. As you can see on these machines, you wanna make sure that that roller is not on your calves. So move it to where it is off the calves so the calves are not doing the work and you're focusing only on your hamstrings. I see a lot of that going on at gyms. Hold on tight. The key too is to keep your hips down. So I squeeze my glutes first, keep them contracted, then I give the curl. This keeps the complete tension on your hamstrings. You cannot cheat. That's my last one. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And the last exercise is the abductor machine, which is for your inner thighs. Here at Universal Pro Fitness, we have a universal one which hits the out and then we turn it in and then it hits the inner thighs. Okay, it looks like this. Have a seat. As you see, these swirl in, which is cool. Multi-tax here. <laughs> Always make sure you put the weight pretty moderately to light. You don't want it too heavy when you get to the third combo because your legs are probably already taxed from the leg press and the leg curl machine, but now we want to focus on some inner thighs and we don't want to strain. Okay, just gonna sit up nice and tall. Gonna take this all the way back into the stretch that's comfortable for you. Do not overstretch this because you don't want any pulls. Okay, sit up nice and tall and squeeze. Go to a good stretch, go as far as you can and squeeze. The further the stretch out, the more beneficial you'll be using your inner thighs and squeeze. Another tip, make sure you're not pushing with the knee which is placed on that pad. Make sure that you're really focusing on inner, inner thighs doing all the work, okay? No cheating allowed. Well, there you have it guys, your three combos. Get in and get out. Leg press, leg curl, and the abductor and adductor. So you can actually do both of them. We can actually make it more than a combo. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I'll be back next week with an RX Muscle Tip of the Week. Thanks guys, have a great day.